When you think of the Memphis Grizzlies, the first player that pops into your mind is likely Ja Morant. After him, you might think about Jaron Jackson Jr., Dylan Brooks, Desmond Bain, and Steven Adams. And while they each deserve a ton of praise for what they've done to this point of the season for the 23 and 13 Grizzlies, there's one player on that roster that you probably never hear about, and that's John Conchar. Now, he's not doing anything extraordinary necessarily, averaging 7.4 points and 5.5 rebounds per game, but the impact he's making is quite significant. This is quite a fascinating stat. In the month of December, the player that had the best plus minus was Conchar, believe it or not. Memphis outscored their opponents by 123 when he was on the court. Number two, three, four, and five on that list were Julius Randle, Joel Embiid, James Harden, and Damian Lillard. Kevin Durant was eighth. Conchar's Grizzlies teammate Dylan Brooks was 11th. For the season, the top two players in this category are Nikola Jokic and Jason Tatum. Conchar is 8th at a plus 178. It's extremely rare for quote-unquote role players to lead the NBA in this category for a full month. The last time a player that has never been an all-star recorded the league's best plus minus in a month with more than five games played was Joe Ingles in February of 2021 when he was playing for the Utah Jazz. As far as what Conchar does well, he is superb at moving without the ball, especially when he's going toward the basket. Teammates have often found him dashing toward the hoop for easy layups. Among all players with at least 25 shots off paint touches, Conchar has the NBA's fourth best field goal percentage at 84%. And many of those paint touches have come in transition. Conchar is actually one of the league's best at running the floor. 30% of his shots have come in transition, in fact, which is among the highest rates. In case you're curious, Portland's Josh Hart has the highest frequency. He's taken 34.2% of his shots in transition. Conchar also makes great passes from the paint. The thing that really pops out at me it's just how quickly he makes decisions. The ball never sticks with him, which helps the Grizzlies' offense run smoother. Memphis is just a better team when he's on the floor, and these numbers really emphasize it. When he's on the court, the Grizzlies are shooting a team-best 47.6% from the field. When he's not, they're shooting 45.7%. The team's offensive rating when he's on the court is 116.1 when he's off it's 108.4 that's a massive difference for someone who plays over 25 minutes per game on average it's the same disparity on defense the grizzlies have a defensive rating of 106.5 when he's playing and 109.3 when he's not he's a sneaky good rebounder too last year in a game against minnesota in the regular season he pulled down 17 rebounds he just does a little bit of everything to help Memphis win. He's totaled 67 deflections so far, second most on the team, and has taken three charges, tied for the most on the team. Over the summer, the Grizzlies surprised some by signing Conchar to a multi-year contract extension. The way he's played this year to go along with the impact he's making, it's now making a lot more sense why the Grizzlies are so committed to him. Just some background info on Conchar. He was born and raised in West Chicago, Illinois, which is about a 45 minute drive outside the city of Chicago. He went undrafted in 2019 out of Purdue Fort Wayne, which plays in the Horizon League. So that'll wrap up this video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. I will continue to do more player analysis features throughout the season.